Previously on The World Ends With You. Nice! You picked it up pretty good. You didn't win a single round. And you have still have no idea what you're doing. You're ready for the big times now. And now back to being emo. Hello! Snicko B, back with some more of The World Ends With You. We last left off, we uh, finally settled on a Joshua voice, and we met with Mr. Anakoma for like the millionth time as he told us exactly what we're supposed to be doing in this game. <laughs> Hi there, I'm just here to tell you exactly. Here's the next plot point for you, now go! Thanks, Mr. Anakoma, you're always here for us. Anyway, so now we've uh, added something to our phone, which I, I didn't notice before, but that actually makes little, these little signal things show up, so. I guess I run over there, and I'm assuming now that the guys that were in my way before now will actually let me pass. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, hey, look! Oh my god, it's Beyblade. <laughs> That's what I just call it. This guy's just Beyblade to me. Oh, where did he disappear to after he beat me? I want a rematch. So, <laughs> sucks what happened yesterday. Thought, thought you had it in the bag, Shooter. Yeah, the bro in the headphones took off, too. Ugh. What was the big rush? Looks like they were ghosts or something. Hope he shows up and strides so we can play. <laughs> what a silly goober. <laughs> Sounds like you have a fan, Neku. Oh, you guys said you guys said you were really happy. You actually were really liked the uh, uh, the voice I gave him. What I've settled on for Josh. So good. Yes, I'm happy. I'm glad. Yes, yeah, so I think this is just just the right level of douche. <laughs> okay, so I I don't know. I just. Please tell me, I, you guys said actually, I think I have to do more Tin Pin Slammer shit later on, which fucking sucks, but god dang it. You said there was some post-game stuff too, like, there's like a story arc, I, I, I don't know, I'm like, when you say post-game, do you mean like, like I've beaten the final boss and it's just like, now I'm just dicking around, like that kind of post-game, or like, do you mean like right before you get to the final boss, like I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but apparently there's like stuff and I don't know, there's... But there's like a, I, I'm guessing you said there's a story arc that involves Tim Pin Slammer. I'm guessing I'm following around Ding Dong there, Beyblade guy. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be amazing, and but like, ugh, I just don't want to play Tim Pin Slammer again if I don't have to. Hold it, Neku, we're getting a response. A response? It means we're close. It's got to be around here. Around here where? I don't know. I need to pinpoint this. Let's keep looking around. Uh, let's see, it's probably somebody not moving. Oh, well, like you guys. You guys ready to talk to me now? <laughs> K guess who? Oh, like a ball from the blue about to give you a stupid fucking quiz. It's a reaper review, bitch. Question one, suck my dick. It's not a question. No, just say it. I'm telling you, suck my dick. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> That's right, you won't pass this wall. <laughs> uh, Caster's <laughs> Caster's perfect for coffee. Wow, okay. What's the following we found on the menu? Uh, yeah, it was a corn chowder, but I said, I don't know, I'll just go with corn chowder. Really? Question two. I left my heart in Shibuya's phone booth of love. Sure you've heard of it. They say if you use it to call the person you like, special someone will love you right back. Pretty handy, huh? So where is it? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Uh, I remember, ah, whatever, sure, cat street. Is that your final answer? Question three. Let's change up the flavor a bit, huh? Try this on for size. He wrote the musical offering in what would later became Air on the G string. He's famous, he's German, he's... Uh... Oh, come on, what the fuck is this? <laughs> now I'm just dicking around. <laughs> Different mu now you're asking me musician questions? I mean, I don't fucking know. Air on the G string. Uh, Air on the D string, E. I'll say Bach. What? Seriously? Okay, results are in. Whatever it says, you suck. You fucking suck. That's right. So you can learn to learn your musicians. Oh fuck you. One pass the wall, then turn natural puppy into the hottest thing around. Make it number one in the area. Watch what pins and threads you wear in the battle. Yeah. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, you did it already. Holy fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wall clear. Well, that was fortunate. Ooh, I got fluffy cotton. Though luxurious Egyptian cotton is usually reserved for top grade fabric, this area sample is definitely set aside as crafter's cotton. Oh yeah, baby. Rub that all over my naked body. Alright, it's supposed to be here somewhere, right? I'm supposed to use my phone? 
Oh, here's this technical EXP bonus thing. Is that worth getting? I just imagine myself getting it and everybody going like, it's like, no! Uh! Everyone's like, oh, a piece of me died inside. Oh, my heart stopped or whatever. Fucking shit. You guys give me so much fucking shit for, for, for buying stuff. Ugh. Technical EXP bonus when, I don't know. I mean, I don't even use mid the mid air much, so. Nah, fuck it. I'll just hold on to it. You guys said apparently I have to, the, nec the next two spin slots in my deck, I have to actually buy them, so. Which means I better, I have to, I said you have to, I have to use my Scarlet Tide, so I'll just have to save it for a while. Hmm? Hmm? What, pick something up? Yeah, that. What's up with the line? Holy shit, let's go take a look. Hey, what up? Wait up! What are we even looking for? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, oh, it's that guy. Sorry. What? What? Okay. Oh! Are they lined up? They're outlined up outside his shop? Now listen to his thoughts. Oh, yeah. Why? I don't get why that place is so popular. The taste is nothing to write home about. Oh, I see. It's alright, dude. I prefer your stuff over all of them. That's right. You're my only customer. My best and only customer. I know. Let's go to Cosmic hey, Corner. Man. Oh, you're finally... Oh my god, you can you finally are willing to sell me shit. What's the point of buying these things? Like the I, I you know, I guess just to complete the quest, but I mean I can literally this is the only reason to get these is it literally just tells me this information, right? Blue noise symbols floating around the scanning field also knows boss noises and usually contain four wolf fuss. Okay, you guys told me apparently uh Okay, yeah, I'll just get one. Uh those blue noises are actually meant for post game stuff. <laughs> so that boss I spent fucking forever trying to beat. Uh Probably shouldn't have fought it yet. Although I will say, on normal mode, he was actually quite easy. It was on, it was on hard mode that it really was just giving me, it was really giving me shit. But um, <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, <laughs> but apparently, on like the final day, you you actually have the ability to go back and revisit old days to recomplete missions. I didn't know that. I I thought once the day ended, like you missed your chance to to fight it, you know, or. Or I figured that you actually had to play through the game again or something, and like it carried over your levels, and then that's when I could beat some of these if these harder bosses. But I figured I'd at least try anyway. Um, although I will say the pin I got from the guy, I don't know, it wasn't as great as I'd hoped it would be. I want I want a pin that like you know, I don't know, does like a hundred damage or something, you know, something just like holy fuck, this is so powerful. Now I'm so OP. Why can't I farm gold hands like I could in the other game? It's a ramen shop. <laughs> it looks pretty new. My phone says it's the place. Here? Uh, hey, no calling! Boys, boys, boys. You need to wait in line the same as everybody else. Oh, that guy. Uh, I guess we're waiting outside then. Damn it. <laughs> I like being a ghost better. <laughs> That's no good. Huh. Wait, we're invisible outside! Fuck! <laughs> We can't wait in we can't wait in line. Well maybe we can cut in line and then when we walk through the door they're just like we'll just show up we'll just magically appear in front of them. They'll be like, what the fuck? Am I on am I on mushrooms? <laughs> am I high on cocaine? What's happening right now? <laughs> Which I want you, you think someone would actually notice that as we walk in the room, all of a sudden just these like figures just appear right magically, like ah <laughs> You're just realizing this now? <laughs> oh you silly goober headed nugget. Uh, and this line isn't getting shorter. The signal's definitely coming from in there, though. We've been tracking down. We've been tracking out ramen. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a hoot? Wouldn't that just be a fan fucking tastic? Look, just tell me what are we doing? What are we after? Tell me, please. <laughs> mm, I'm just going to give you lipsies. <gasps> Wait, do you feel that? I'm hungry. Oh, I just don't get why this place is so popular. Taste is nothing to worry about at home about. Negativity. It's coming from him. He's staring at the line. You think something something's up with the shop? That might explain the signal I picked up. Let's start with the noise on that guy. Let's beat the shit out of him. Oh, oh my god, this fucking jellyfish. That's new. Well. So I figured out what, like, I see what, what I have to do for Josh to make him, like, to... But it's just... Uh, to, to actually make him do a lot of damage, but it, it's just really hard. Like I, because it's not like I can just randomly hit buttons until I get a really long combo. 
Like, if I if I hit the wrong input, like if I hit down at a point where there's no uh, incoming branch, it will cancel the combo, so then I have to restart all over again. So it's not like I can randomly hit shit. But it's like, at the same time, I really have to keep an eye on Neku's screen, so it's like, I just don't know who I'm supposed to be watching all this fucking time, you know? With Shiki, I could really just kind of, I could kind of just button mash without really paying a whole lot of attention, which is why I like playing her, with her much more than this guy. This guy, I have to like, in order to get him to do any damage, I have to like watch his screen. But then I, then I can't pay attention to Neku, and then it's like, it's just like I'm scribbling randomly, I, I don't know. I just don't know how exactly this game expects me to play it, you know? <laughs> what am, what do you want me to do, game? I need to, I need to make a third eye just to stick on my chin so I can watch it. Watch the bottom screen while I watch the top screen. Oh good, you got a sticker. Crackle, snap, crackle, pop, berry. Press Neku and remain stationary to create a flame barrier that wards off enemy attacks and harms enemies on contact. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow, well, what am I doing out here? I can't afford to sit around complaining. I've got to come up with the next big ramen thing. Yeah, ah, I went inside. Let's drop by and talk to him. It's not like this line's going anywhere. Yeah. No mission yet, either. Weird. <laughs> Reapers are bored, I guess. <laughs> Here's I! Ah! It's my only customers! What's that smell? I don't see anybody else, but sounds like he's open. What do you have? Have? What do you boys have today? We've got a new limited time only seasonal special. Special in the big catch. The heck kind of name is that? I'm afraid to ask what's in it. I'll play it safe. Thanks. <laughs> just give me the. Just give me the plan, all shit. Oh, exciting! Make mine the big catch. No way! He's either brave or stupid. <laughs> Him too. And he's just gonna give me his portion. It's like I'm actually not hungry. Here, you eat it, Neku. It's all yours. Aren't you lucky? Aren't you just a lucky little biscuit? What? You got it. Here you go. What? It's already done? <laughs> it, oh my god! Is this food? <laughs> Is this real? Oh my lord, dude. Dude, you gotta skin the fish, man, and just wait. It, it's it's not even cooked. And just took the just took a fish out. The fish is looking at him like looking at me in the eye, like kill me, kill me, please. <laughs> ah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, he's eating it. Mister, this is excellent. I like it. Ah, oh, yeah. You got a good taste, son. What's wrong? Eat up while it's hot, Neku. Right. Huh? It's not terrible. It's actually kind of good. It's actually the greatest thing I've ever had in my fucking life. Using cheese as a hidden flavor really gives the soup body. The whole, the whole, the, the bold inclusion of a whole seed bream. This whole sea bream gives it flavor and presence, as well as a sense of austere ma majesty. Oh, for young kid, you know your noodles. Holy fuck. I just threw some fish in there. I was just dicking around. There's still some folks left in Shibuya who get it. I'll admit it's tasty, but still. Who would order this? Yeah, it's definitely not got the... Doesn't have the presentation. Huh, close the end today? Oh, somebody said that? Not me. Another customer. We're open. Can't you see these customers? I can't work with you around. Go away. Oh, is that the... That's Sergeant Douche? Yeah. You mean me? No, you're Captain Douche. Get it right, man. <laughs> uh, my mistake. Boys were so empty, I just assumed. So given my offer any thought. This guy bounced us from that other place. Why does he look so familiar? I've got nothing to talk about with you. Now get out. Is that... Is that the lights guy? Is he actually the... What? No, I mean... Is it? We saw this guy earlier. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, he was... He was in this uh, place before, the lights guy, I remember. No, I don't think so. I mean, like, I thought maybe, like, he redid his hair or shit. I don't know. I don't, that wouldn't really make sense. I don't know what... All of a sudden, he's a big-time ramen owner guy. C Come on, champ, and you can answer soon. Do yourself a favor and join up with us. I guarantee your profits will explode. What do the people of Shibuya want from a bowl of ramen? It's not flavor. It's adventure, something different. Eating noodles in this town is an event, an experience. Yeah, okay, this is somebody else. Um, the experience begins in the moment they get in line. What's important is the presentation, how you sell it. I'm sure half of, couldn't, half of them couldn't tell a good ramen if it bit them. Mm. 
Anyway, give us some thought. The offer's only open for one month. Oh, sorry, you boys have to see that. Are you in some kind of trouble? Oh, well, must be if I'm if I got kids asking about it. So what? Want to hear the story? Here didn't do what? We can't help him. <laughs> Don't care. Sh what? what? What you? Let's hear him out. Oh right. Since all people need a good listener, might even be able to solve his problem. If not, don't worry. I'll, I promise I'll say no. Oh, that's right. Shiki instilled in me good life, valuable life lessons. We can listen. But don't expect any miracles. Ah, oh, hey, that's more than enough. <laughs> Is he actually expecting shit from us? <laughs> then I uh, go for it. As you can see, business is hardly booming. If I don't turn out some serious profits this month, I'll have to close up shop. Oh, am I going to have to do something like I did with the, the pin or something? By eating food in battle that in a district never makes everybody else want to eat. But that ramen was so good, you're closing. Well, if I buy the let those guys buy me out, I can keep going. But you don't want to. These noodles they serve they serve these noodles they serve aren't half aren't bad, but there's no love. They treat ramen as a way to make cash. Plus they hook customers with cheap tricks, not flavor. I say let our noodles do the talking. Oh, oh my god, these noodles are amazing! Uh, uh, I'm pouring it all over my naked body! Well, you know, on second thought. <laughs> what the? Oh, the show begins. Go on out and see for yourselves. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, it's me. Behold, Edgeworth. Oh my God, it's the prince. Oh, he's so pretty. Hello, ladies. I'm here. Is that lady pouring noodles all over her naked body? I like it. Oh my god, a compliment to me. Mm, some porn noticed me. Wait, that's... The guy I'm at 104. Mr. Spicy Tuna Roll or whatever. <laughs> Mr. Spicy Tuna Roll. I'll show you a spicy tuna roll. He went into that other ramen place. Let's go see Neku. Let's go see Sally. My name's not Sally. You're Sally now. Exquisite, I can die in bliss. F this ramen. F for fabulous. You hear that? He effed it. He fucked the fucking shit out of that ramen. Mm. I wish you would eff me. He only effs the stuff he really likes. I want to go try what he got. But I'm allergic to noodles. You're gonna eat it if if the prince likes it. You should like it too. That's I Izzy Ozzy, the prince of Inui. His blog eff everything. He's a hundred thousand hits a day. So I've heard. When the prince mentions a place on his blog, this. This happens. People flock there. Huh. Well, the noodles do look pretty good. I'll say. Oh yeah, these guys have. These guys have much better presentation. Dude, the other guy just needs to work on his presentation. That's all. It's like, come on, man. Just give it the times. I mean, that's like any. Anyone with a restaurant knows that. You know. It's not always about taste. Taste. You gotta have it look at least fairly decent. Otherwise, no one's gonna want to order it. They didn't. They didn't cut any corners with the presentation. Oh well, what? The staff. The staff dances. The staff dances. They cook. Oh, like it's like kabudos. I guess it's half food, half show. This isn't a theme park. I see what he meant by adventure. Woo! I'm on an adventure. The savory ramen, the eclectic venue. I know my readers will love it here. You can bet I'll be back soon. Always a pleasure, sir. Ha, I didn't totally pay you for this. This month's. Our grand opening special. Every customer takes home a special gift. A brand new car! It's a doozy, too. We're giving out the hottest pin in town. This! Oh my god, it's gonna be the red pin, isn't it? Oh, I knew it! Wow, it's like super rare! Oh my god! We seriously all get one? That pin. <laughs> I think to myself, oops. <laughs> yeah, someone we promoted for a mission. You don't say. Me and Shiki. We had, that, we had to make that pin catch on. Huh? Wait a minute. That's that's him! That guy in the suit is is the promoter guy. Oh! It's that's Nagi? Another friend of yours, Neku. He looks totally different. I hardly recognize him. Whoa! Holy shit. He really has Oh my god, he's turned into a total douchebag. He's turned into a total tool. Oh shit! What happened to you, Nagi? All oh, that power has gone to your fucking hoge. That's people for you. Oh, he's quick to do 180. Uh, 180. Try a 1260. Still interesting. Okay, Neku, let's go. Huh? Stick around. We'll get yelled at again for cutting. 
<clears throat> right. Hey, asshole. This is how you treat us? We're the ones who saved your stupid little pitch ass. Pins and stuff. Out we go. Okay, so fuck. I oh no, Nagi's turned into a deeper sounding Kameda. Oh no. <laughs> My god, what have we done? <laughs> that is true evil right there. My mind, Neku. I believe we have an incident in our hands. Huh? A new ramen shop explodes into the scene. Its owner, an overnight success story. And those red pins. This could be what my phone responded to. You think the pins are the source of the energy spike? Oh, and don't forget the ramen that's not selling. Ah, uh, don't you think it's considering how good it is? Hello, you listening? <laughs> that settles it. We'll spend today getting to the bottom of this mystery. Let's split up, gang. We? I'm not about to ignore the mission. What mission, Neku? Now, let's start sniffing out the reason this place is such a hit. God, what are the Ghostbusters now? Yeah, fuck it, I'm going over here. Or maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Prince Baby! Prince Baby, you're killing me! Uh, oh, gotta obey that contract, huh? Uh, oh. Got but I'm a little confused. Is it the Prince and Mictaw? Hey, it's those two. S sounds like trouble in paradise. Let's check it out. Oh, it is. Whoa. Oh my god, what happened to you, Makoto Nagi? Why'd you change your blog entry? I told you, it's my blog, I write it. So he used this guy to... But I thought... Hmm, okay. Well, I... I, did he, I wonder how he convinced him to do this for him, you know? I feel you, Prince, I really do. But this is business. And probably is the real deal. I respect that. But the, whole, the, whole, the text you wrote is limp. It won't sell me any noodles. You signed this when you signed the contract. Dude, how long has it been? It's been like three days and already turned into like some big shot. I provide the text. But Mick, then it's not my blog anymore. Dude, he's, oh my god, he's even running this guy. Plus the ramen you serve there isn't that good. I mean, come on, it tastes like poo. When I tasted the test batch, it was great, but look, I, I don't want to lie. In person or on my blog. Oh, I see. I can't do that to my, my fans, <laughs> edgy, edgy, edgy. Babe, Prince, fine. None of these people, none of those people care I taste. Follow me, the whole game is about image. And whoever sells the most wins. Mick, what's happened to you, dude? What? You used to be cool, and now you're kameda -y. I'll send you the new text and some pics, some pics by tonight. You'll then have them put on your blog tomorrow, right? Fabulous, see you later, dude. Oh, I feel dirty inside. I have created a monster. Aha! Uh -huh. Exactly. Although it looks like the prince is tired of playing puppet. Huh. Hey, the noise of the noise of <sighs> got him. Huh. So they do. Better murder them. It's alright, we're gonna make you feel good, Edgeworth. We're gonna make you feel really good about yourself. By murdering crabs! By murdering Dr. Zoyberg! Oh, oh, when they're really close to the bottom of the screen, it's really hard for me to attack them because I don't wanna... Because I'm playing this in windowed mode, so it's like if I... I've, and I've done this multiple times before, but I accidentally like, grab the window and shrink it down some, so it's like, then I have to readjust it again. It's just a fucking pain in the ass. Yes, all right, your defense went up. And more Scarletite. This isn't right. I can't lie to my public. I'll try talking to Mick one more time. I'll write my own blog. I list my own thoughts. My own feelings. The ramen. I'd actually like to eat. <sighs> I miss the old stuff. Like the ramen Sebastian used to make. Just noodles and broth. Warm, simple ramen. I'd kill for a bowl of that right now. Even the Prince of Inui has his woes. I guess we all do. <laughs> Except for me, because I'm awesome. I don't know why he's so hump on ramen. on ramen. <laughs> well, uh, well, we all have our hang-ups. I don't get it. Of course you don't. What? Everyone has their own little internal world. A secret garden only they can enter. Each world has its own internal logic, individuality. And the logic of one world means nothing in another. Are you high right now? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I might have stored some of that Korkana got from Hanakoma. <laughs> Understanding other people isn't hard, Neku. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah, all right. Even if I would, even if I could, I wouldn't want to see other people inside other people. They can keep their garden secret, thanks. Oh, we got simple added. What's up, players? Want to clear the ball? 
First guy bring me a supply pack to Finn. Well then, we'll talk. Noise 30's got. Hey, this one's a little tricky. Look to the Noise 29 for a hint. Uh, oh. They said nice drop rare pins. All right, well, I'm gonna have to, uh, have to lower my level. Thank you all for coming out today. We appreciate your patience. As an apology for keeping you waiting, help yourselves to one of these. Cat design and hard to find. Today's your last chance to get these pins here, folks. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> my phone's responding. Do those pins? Is that what we're hunting? Rare pins? Not quite. What I'm looking for isn't a thing. So, Cat designed these pins. Cat's the big graphic designer, right? Yes and no. They do artwork, clothes, and even furniture. And that's just the start. Photo, music, video, cats and uber multi-talent. How do I know all this? She is full of their billboard ads. Oh. Like the ones at Toa Records? Yep. Cat doesn't just make art. Cat is art. Wow. <laughs> You're awfully knowledgeable. Wow, you, you have a hard on for those guys, don't you? Are you a fan? Hell yeah! <laughs> what gave you that idea? Cat's all about enjoying every moment with all you got. Did you used to work there or something, Neku? Do what you want, how you want, when you want. How cool is that? Wow, you sound devoted. That's why it's pissed me off. He's using Cat's work to trick people. Oh, there's the red one. Yeah, it, do they just keep like multiplying until it makes one or something? I have no idea. Oh, level up, baby! They, they seem to keep multiplying or something. Seem like a seem like it might be a good one to grind on if you need to more experience. Holy shit! I leveled up again. Wow. Yeah, you just keep grinding on these guys. Just keep letting them multiply. It seems like the really easy way to level up here. Rare metal, jelly, jelly. Ah, uh, that wasn't what I wanted though. Maybe I'll sell a excuse for a ramen shop. Maybe something new, something fresh. Something simple? Yes, that's it. But, all right. I'm gonna kinda, you know what, I'm gonna fight some of these guys for a little bit. All right, I actually grinded a little bit on those guys. This guys give so much fucking experience they just kept multiplying. So like, now I'm level 29. That shit was, oh my god, they gave so much experience. Uh, I eventually got the supply, the thing that the guy wanted, supply factor. I actually need to get on easy to get from these guys, but I got a shit ton of jelly. Um, and then I got a eyes full of hope, too, which is a pretty rare one, apparently, from this blue one. Um, which is like, shoots lasers or something. And then I got this uh, pin that shot uh, stuff out. Now, now it looks like a limit. <laughs> to, I got it to evolve, so. God, this, this pin, though, this, uh... Jupiter the Monkey, kind of Sada, kind of kind of Sada. I've like, I've held this one like three or four times, and it's like now insanely strong. Like, unfortunately, this is as far as it's gonna go, but I think it'll last me for a while because it's just, oh my god, it's like it's definitely my best one. This jellyfish one's all right. I don't think it, it's actually, I think Reaper class must be like the best one, I, I guess. I, I guess it goes from like E to A and then Reaper class or something. That one was a Reaper class, but um, it's pretty good. Not as good as this one, though. But, uh... Yeah, I've still got a lot of pins I haven't even used yet. I think you guys said for, like, to get some of the bonus stuff, for, like, to get a bonus ending, you had to, like... M you have to master every pin. Fuck that. I mean... You know, I'm willing to grind, grind a little bit, but that's just, like... Oh, my God. That just sounds like fucking hell, you know? And you're just doing it just to see the ending, and it's like... Hell, I think I'd just go on the internet and look it up if that were the case. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Oh, man, I'm starved. Oh, who was that? Still on the prince's blog? It's a bunch of spicy tuna rolls. Hmm, wonder how those are. Hmm, somewhere, someplace around here must sell them. Maybe I'll sneak off and take a look. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, a spicy tuna roll. It's kind of the sushi they serve outside of Japan. It's sort of like a California roll. So, what's in it? Tuna, tuna paired with a spicy sauce and rolled up. Crazy. <laughs> I think sushi with a kick. Right in the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> no. Is any good? I'm a fan. <laughs> then I'm never gonna have it. Oh, spicy tuna roll. Yes. Oh wow. All right. I didn't realize that was actually gonna be something I knew. <laughs> it was gonna help me. I was just wandering around. All right, ding dong. I got your thing. Oh, so please, we wanna clear the wall. Blah 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 blah. Oh wow, I'm so impressed. You pass. Huh? 
Oh, and he. Ah, oh, took a few bites, but you can finish this. What? Ew! <laughs> you have a hamburger. <laughs> Ew! I don't want your. I don't want your seconds. <laughs> And ten thousand dollars, ten thousand fucking dollars. And oh, look, it's Beyblade. Beyblade. <laughs> hey, Yammer, did you catch yesterday's show? Of course. Man, Slim is the best. I love Beyblade so much. You guys, oh, you guys are telling me too. Apparently, none of you actually were fans of Beyblade as kids. Um, Beyblade came a bit late for me. I think maybe if it had been earlier on, I probably would have liked it a bit, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I think that's why I always thought it was kind of silly, but... It's really heating up toward the end. I knew Dead was hiding some something from his past. Dead, my arch nemesis. Totally. Why would Black, sh Black show up there? Unless we had Yellow, we're actually brothers. Whoa. I can't wait for next week. Plus, the movie comes out next month. Uh, I'm going to totally watch that 83 times. Exactly. No more, no less. I am so fucking psyched. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a kid's show, Tim Pin Slammer Eye. It's very popular. Uh huh. <laughs> the leader dead is locked in a duel with his rival Black. At least until next week. My partner watches Kitty TV. Of course he does. Oh yeah, give me that shit. Yeah, yeah, my favorite color. You guys are such doodles. What's this one? <gasps> Extra slot! Holy sweet! Ding dong doodly. Yes, thank you, sweet mother of God Almighty. Oh wow, oh my God, I got 99 rare medals. I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> Fuck yes, get inside me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God, I'm so glad I walked over here. God, I got so many things. Supply factor, adds extra uses to pins with a limited number of uses. Oh, that's kind of neat, so I guess for like, for this one, I could use like more than that. Let's do this one, eyes full of hope. Keep us on a, trained on an enemy. To focus light on and inflicts continuous damage. All right. Oh, hey, it's that chick. Hey, come on, wait your turn. I just have, I just have a few quick questions. Do you mind? Wow, it goes right to the chase. Hey, baby, I got your meal right here. Ew, buzz off, creep. Ah, uh, whatever, she totally digs me. Yeah, whatever, man. Stick with the guys, I think you're better off with them. Huh? Huh? About what? I'm here with a friend, so keep it short, okay? Why do you like the ramen here so much? Why? Uh, because it's the most popular spot in Shibuya. She likes it because it's popular? That's fun, don't you think? Where else do you they dance while making your food? I'm making ramen. I put a little of this and a little of that, and then shake it all about and do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. That's how it's all about. Put a little bagel here and a little bagel there. And I don't want bagels in my shut up. You're getting bagels. I don't care what you say. This is my fucking ramen shop. And that has to do with ramen. Dude, what? How does that? What does that have to do with ramen? Plus, they gave me this cool limited edition pin. How could not anyone not like this place? But it's pretty new, right? I didn't get this big this fast. The prince wrote a post about it on his blog. I mean, he fucked it. He fucked it good. How can I resist a food this fabulous? The 5,000 yen price tag is a little painful, but after all, I can tell all my friends I eat here, and then I'll be cool forever. Ooh, I should have a photo and mail them. <laughs> I see. So, how's it taste? Good? Totally. The prince said it was great. Therefore, it's really good. For 500, for 5,000 yen, it must be. Just look at the photo. It's a friggin' steak on it. It's got a friggin' steak on it. <laughs> so where else do you go for ramen? Huh? For ramen? Um, I don't know. Noodles weren't really my thing. I barely ever eat ramen. I don't even like it, actually. <laughs> Man, what the hell are you doing, doing here? <laughs> these people are, these kids are stupid. Oh, that said, it'd be awesome to see, like, a dessert ramen. Dessert ramen? Yeah, like, all fruity and sweet. Mmm. Well, I got your fruity right here, baby. Tantalizing possibility. Well, thanks, that was informative. Okay, I'm gonna go eat then. All right, let's head out. Dessert. All right, God, I'm getting a little shit ton of this stuff. I guess I should see what this guy's doing. <laughs> Eunice, hi right, I've been waiting for you too. Take a, t take a taste, say what you think. This is regular old ramen? Interesting, well, here goes. Uh, hold it. Oh, it's... Oh, hold it! Please, let me try that. <sighs> Fine. Uh, 
Thank you. Now to dig in. <laughs> Amazing. Is it okay for ramen to taste this good? No. F. F this ramen. F it to high heaven. Oh. Uh, is that a compliment? I'm going to fuck all of your ramen. Give me all of your noodles. Of course. F is for fabulous. Still. The ramen is exceptional. Let me guess. A whole chicken in that soup. That and a poor... Pork bone, seaweed, and sardines. It all blends together so perfectly. Truly the handiwork of a ramen arson. This is the this is the ramen Sebastian made. Same ramen I've always made. I haven't changed a thing. I just serve up the kind of ramen I'd want to eat. Among the flavors, I I could just love you put into it. So much love, so much effing. You fucked this ramen, didn't you? Damn right I do. I fuck every bowl of ramen I give. Oh my god, no wonder it tastes so delicious. Ah, uh, mmm. Your love of ramen, no! Your love for ramen lovers! Are you? Is that you, Saba? Everybody hits rough patches in life. So next time you're down, drop on by and I'll fix you a bowl. Remember, the future's a clean slate, and you're on the chalk. The future's a clean slate, my god. That's, but you speak to me. Aha, try a blank slate, Pops. Er, er, try a blank slate, Pops, who said that? Oh. Ah, <laughs> me! Ev it's me, Evil Makoto Nagi. Considering this place is gone in a month. What? And you, Prince Baby. My walking billboard. Can't you have it? Can't have you eaten at this other guy's joint, can I? I've come to my decision, Mick. I won't work it with you on this any longer. I realize you've become a giant tool. Babe, 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 calm down. You're talking crazy, Prince. I knew after tasting Sebastian's ramen again. I refuse to be a part of this. Not if it requires me to keep lying. And you've got it backwards, Mick. A store isn't good because people talk about it. It's the t the product, the taste. People talk about a store because it's good. There's love in Sebastian's soup. Love for the people eating it. That's the sort of ramen I want other people to know about. So wait, this is supposed to be the same guy? Wait, you see him as Sebastian, was he like a big time thing? and Big time guy and then he hit a rough patch or something? Is that what he's saying? And now he's like owner of this small shop or something? Ugh, edgy. Shibuya is on a day with adventure. Oh, <laughs> it's on a day with adventure. And when all it, when all anybody uh, offers is something different, you get hungry for the familiar. It's comforting. Love has always been the world's best secret ingredient. Gotta feel, got, gotta feel more than just your belly, but also your heart. Hmm, <laughs> love. All you need is love. Guess I forgot that somewhere along the line. I'd hop about it left and right, but those new experiments were all just me trying to get in the show. I've got the important part. Smile at us, ask my customer when they're done eating. My job's making ramen that makes people happy. There's no reason to change my soup. I've wasted all this time. But you still got your chalk. Eh, right. I can cook a lot of ramen in one month. I'm sticking to my guns. Yes. Hopefully you guys' place will take off. I was thinking something different. Maybe everyone in Shibuya is here searching, struggling for a peek into their neighbors worlds when that when those neighbors change they get they got scared feel they have to change themselves even what makes them who they are right wait what <laughs> you don't want to change but if you don't you want but you don't want to be left behind either of course not so we can't go through life alone we're part of a community we have to live by its rules except for me because i'm awesome and the more we connect with the people the trickier those rules get yeah and the more people you hold back Screw living in a world choked by rules. I'm, I'm living free like cat. Like Mr. Kitty. <laughs> Mr. Kitty knows where it's at. It's just easier on my own. Nobody has bit, nobody has badge, nobody has time it down. People aren't meant to figure each other out. My thoughts exactly. I'd rather just get rid of them. Huh? What? Same as you, Sally. I mean, Neku. Those headphones you wear say, say it all. Yeah, so what? I don't like other people. Yeah. I've got no use for the next world over, so don't come barging in on mine. Now nah, back to being emo again. He's like, wait, what am I doing? Softening up and, and liking people. Fuck Shiki. She can die for all I care. I'm emo Neku, and I'm the best Neku. <laughs> My own world's all I need. Un unless... We look at the time. And it's still on mission. It's probably too late now. Our little hum will have to continue tomorrow, too. Huh? The signal's disappearing. But before I was reacting to these pins, right? Still picking mine, still picking mine up faintly. There was a whole bunch of them before. Maybe they added up to a strong signal. 
So why is cats pin anyway? Why cats pin anyway? It's not what I'm looking for, and I know that. Okay. <laughs> and who? Then what all are you looking for? Well, put simply, I'm looking for what this dragger is dragging. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> oh, oh, silly Neku. I think I'm gonna tell you things. What the? Oh, that's real helpful. What the hell else this kid after? I'm gonna fucking kill him by the end of this. Yep, the day's over. All right. Are those shit? I feel like I probably missed out on some stuff. I got those additional uh, uh, memes I didn't use. Unless I carry over to the next day. Ah, oh, poop. I probably would have gotten some bonus thing or something, right? Oh, well. Nico, you missed out on the best pin in the game. Ah, fuck me. Are we training? Look at me. I'm crouching tiger hidden douchebag. Yes, I win. This isn't fair, Neku. When did you suddenly become a tin pin expert? And why should I answer that? How about because I'm asking you? Have you been secretly training, you naughty boy? Maybe. Look, look, a win's a win. <laughs> and no, I have definitely not been playing that game. It means we wait another hour for the mission. Uh, Neku, cut me a little slack. Not happening. I won, suck my dick. Therefore, we wait. Uh, fine, but this is a huge waste of time. Hello? This is getting to him. Keep it up, he's about to crack. Ah yes, all according to my stupid plan. Today, today 14 players were erased, sir. Leave it to a genius, and this really game won't last a week. About that, sir. No missions have been issued in the last two days. None? None, sir. Nevertheless, players have been disappearing at a startling rate. And me... Minami... Mimoto. And Minami Moto. Hey, well, he broke... He broke off contact yesterday. The Game Master's gone missing. His so-called works of art have been sighted... Have been sighted around the UG. Thus, I suspect he's still in the area. Then let's leave him be for now. Meaning you won't be requiring an, an inquiry into Minam, Minamimoto's activities. Correct. He's not a social animal. Give the man space. Understood. As you wish, Mr. K Kitanashi. Any other problems? Several Reapers were attacked on Route 5, sir. We suspected taboo noise. Taboo noise. How does this affect our manpower? The losses are with intolerances. I've already set, I've already set about identifying and locating the perpetrator. Very good. Hmm, who is it? I would I would have thought it was show, but So the noise explains the the noise explains the dwindling player count. Yes, sir. I'm looking into any correlation between the two incidents now. Perfect, I expect no less. I'll leave it to you, Kanishi. Understood, sir. Show Minami Minamimoto. True genius, youngest Reaper officer in history. Tactics intel, will willpower, decisiveness, performance. His numbers are just short of Mr. Kitanaji's. Except for cooperation, a whopping zero. I'll admit he has talent, but his quirks are beyond control. What is he after? My analysis suggests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of her. Back to Samsung. Yeah. Yeah. How can you be, how can you be busy, Mr. H? Your cafe's always empty. Fine, fine. Sorry. Later. It's me later, loser. Ugh. Fifteen minutes and counting. Any minute now, he'll... See, Neku, could you do me one teensy favor? No. Bingo! <laughs> now, to, now to beat him to the punch. If this is about the weight, I'm not listening. Fine. How about a trade? Right on cue. Yes, Neku, Neku time. Okay, answer my question, I'll go with you. You've twisted my arm, go on, shoot. What are you after? You're curious. If you don't feel like talking, we can wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing major. I'm going to Jack Shibuya. Right. How about a real answer? That was a real answer. What? What? How do you jack a town? That's why I'm looking for the Shibuya River. What Shibuya River? My turn to ask a question. Do you really want a second chance? Huh? What's waiting for you in the RG? You're as alone there as here. What's the difference? <laughs> you don't have. You don't have to answer. I don't really care. Now let's get started. I just made you. I just want to make you think about things. Now, let's, how's our signal today? Hmm. It's coming. It's coming from our past Shibuku. From our past Shibuku heads. It puts it over near 
Utagawa? Oh, right. He knew the city well, Neku. Shibuya, born and raised on the playground. Neku, you uh, Sorry, that just kind of popped out. I don't know where that came from. My, my. It's from Utagawa, right? Let's go. Well, this is new. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> someone's an eager someone's an eager beaver today oh look at you sally oh this is why i love you sally stop calling me that eager beaver <laughs> it's like a piggy penguin but more eager and more beaver <laughs> eager beaver eager beaver Dudugawa district same place i saw on your head along with me lying dead on the ground you totally murdered me didn't you you douche how'd i die who the hell are you? I might find my answers there. Too bad you didn't pass me though. Aha! Or not. Or I'm just gonna stand here and look at you funny. Like, bah, what do you want? What's up, play? Wanna clean the wall? Well, let's see then. Play this area five. Five, uh, no, no, six symbols. No symbols. Oh! Make it ten. Beat ten of them. Oh my god. Really? Shit. Well, holy shit sticks. Holy fucking ballsack. All right, let's do it. Right, let's try that new move. So I think I just hold it down on them. Oh! Wow, last a while. Didn't really do a whole lot of damage, though. I think, well, some of these guys, I think. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, whoa! Wait, was that me? That was, a, that was my new upgrader one? Whoa, look at it go! Damn, anything you'd actually do it. All clear, so bound. Damn. You murdered the shit out of those people. Damn right I did. Give me my pretty give me my pretty ribbon. I deserve that ribbon. Holy shit, now this is what I'm talking about. Big bang! Big bang attack! <laughs> 160 damage. Uh, but I only used it three times. By itself, this pin exhibits no power. It reads, The joys of a universe made and unmade, friends, across time, and shall be your ray of light. What? Wait, so how do I use it? What's up, man? Well, the wall, bring me one sexy plus. It's a pin. Oh, it's 59's got him. It's difficult to easy. Oh, alright. Yep, oh, probably one of you guys. Well, wall, I got it already. Ding dong. Name that wall clear. Arr! Yeah, give me that money. Hmm. <laughs> Reaper alert. Ah, and there's a reward to the police. Um, low. Hello, we're, we're, we're metal and reapers. No way we lose all car credit. Like, you have any any after, after boning this up? N sounds like an argument. Sounds like, sounds like trouble we don't need. Let's just ignore them. Let's go run into them. Another junk pile. The Grim Heaver strikes again. Know anyone else who who puts something like this together? There's something written on it. Any sound can shake the air. My voice shakes to the heart. Uh, what? <laughs> First of all, sounds don't really shake anything. I think he's he's be he's saying he's better than air. Uh huh. The trackers are spotting here, but I don't think it's what we're looking for. Hey, my man, I remember you. Ah, wait, you're that. Prove it, Tommy. You're not busy, right? Help brother out. Oh, motherfucker. Triple seven. Sure, why not? You hear me out? Rock! Rock! Um, we're booked, right, Neku? Sorry, we don't have, we have somewhere to be. Right, Utagawa. What? Don't play with my heart, man. Yo, Tenno! On it. Huh. Ah. What a wall. Hey! You wanna get, wanna get through here? Help us out. Resting your personal problems on players. How very professional. You guys are asses. Wait, well then what is it? So what's the deal? Long story short, our band's microphone has gone missing. Happened around two, two o'clock yesterday. We had a little gig at Malco, right? Even a new track. Should've been no problem. But shoot, but the show ends, we split it for the day. I let our, our stuff out of my sight for one minute, tops. We get back and the mic's gone. Uh, yeah, it says you. You probably just left some plate. I'm telling you, BJ, it was stolen. <laughs> BJ, that's a bad acronym to have. I think it's Jeff March's heart and soul. We wouldn't just lose it. Somebody took it. Who the hell would want a bike with wings? <laughs> it's got wings on it. What? Hey, you lost it. <laughs> Fine. 
Let's just split up and look for it, okay? Why are we looking for your junk? Uh, screw that, man. You lost it, you find it. I'm out of here. I'm bounced. Oh, Tana. Here's your phone, bro. Oh, snap. That line ran. Thanks, man. I was I was working out trying to find it. Where was it? In, uh, I mean, uh, deep, uh Spain Hill. I'm heading back to East later. I'll go look around Malko again, because, uh, thanks. I still don't know how see how this is our problem. Oh, come on. Look, I'll pay you. Help us out. Uh, no way, we're... Here, here let, let me pay you before I forget. Uh, punk. Beat me to the punk. Beat me to the draw. Here, have a sticker. Now Josh is a little bit less of a piece of shit. Oh, oh my god! Oh my... <gasps> yes! Finally got a 5 yen coin. I haven't, I haven't managed to get one of those. Oh. Oh god damn it. No, I shouldn't have walked in here. Hey, bro! Bro! You slamming? Here to play around with Shooter. Fuck no! Get away from me! Oh, but bro, I love you, bro. God damn it, get away from me. What is it? What happens if I play? Like, is there a point to this? Sure, for a little while. What does it do? All right, let's do this! Slam. On. Oh! Suck my dick, shooter! Oh! You're done! Mmm! You better give me some some fun, oh, some fucking amazing. Wow, bro, you're getting good. Oh, I can't believe you beat Shooter. I let him, I, I, I let him win, of course. I thought it'd be mean to crush him. You little, you were so full of shit, you know that. Still, bro, that was nice. Take this. Oh wow, special team been using slam on. It it takes a motive from wheeled warriors to slam and rides. Uh, all right, thanks. Great, that was fucking useless. It's been for Timpin slam offs. Can I use him in battle very well? I mean, hey boys, you crack it. Can you give us a little more more to go on? Sure. What do you need to know? Mike, scrap the stolen Mike. It stands a Mike with it's a stand Mike with black wings. Black wings. Yeah, it's the Ben symbol. We want a fat Mike. I can think of one guy. Really, who? Freaking BJ. So what? What do you think we call him, BJ, dude? BJ. Guy in the black hood. He was just here. He's been whining about wanting to do vocals. We had it out over that yesterday. So he wanted to share the glory. Mike went missing right after that. What he stole because he wanted to be a vocalist? That makes no fucking sense. It makes every bit of sense. What happened when the mic was taken? I actually didn't tell the other guys, but just before it disappeared, I got a call. Phone call? Yeah, thinking back now, it was pretty shady. Yeah, okay. What was the, why was it called shady? They didn't give their name. Just, just meet me. Meet me by Kadoi City. We need to talk. Any guesses? Not really. Caller ID said it was a public phone. Sounded like an effect, affected voice, too. So, did you go? Yeah, but nobody was there. When I got back to Malka, the mic was gone. That is shady, Slim Shady. Is this someone called to lure you away? And you think the Reaper in Black you were fighting with? BJ, was it? You suspect him? As much as I hate to consider it. No more questions! I like how I say that with an exclamation point. Well, good luck, guys. I'll be right here. Oh, what a pain in my nuggets. So what now? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? We investigate the crime scene and question the people involved. What? Have you done this before? So we've got Mulko and the two bandmates. Let's get started. Yay. Everyone to the mystery van. The first Mexican dog. <laughs> I'm going to Mexican dog. Hmm. Isn't that... Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, how can we tell him apart from the other, the eight million other ones that look just like him? That's what he has to say. He's totally different from the, all the other ones. Of course. But first, Mexican dog. Oh, he told me, oh sweet. He told me about the shoes. That's awesome, dude. I didn't know you knew about shoes. Any luck finding the mic? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, sure, whatever. Triple Seven said the mic was the band's soul. What makes it so special? It just is. Back when we were still still busking on the streets, we all pulled our money to buy it. It's our the symbol of our bond as a as a band, as friends. I stuck wings on to remind us of that. Got us through some rough times. 
I see. But lately, Triple Seven BJ have been fighting over who gets to sing, over who has the right to the mic. Talk about irony. Ah. He must be happy then. The object dividing them is out of the picture. Yeah. But, but no, I just that. Not that happy. I just oh, never mind. Man, I can stay in a backseat to this. Where were we you yesterday, two o'clock? Right here. Are you asking us or telling us? Huh? Ah, uh, yes, BJ said he found your phone on Spain Hall. Yeah, m must have dropped here. Well, uh, I don't see our mic here. We're gonna wait, I can wait to triple seven. You've been very helpful, liar. You big liar pants. You said the mic went missing in Malka, right? Look a phone booth. <laughs> that initially seemed kind of random. Look, look a phone booth, and look a bird. <laughs> Yes, and then he said, uh, oh, look, another bird. All oh, right, so Turtle 7 said the call came from a payphone. Then let's, huh? uh, hey there. Oh. Aren't you like players? And you two are? Yeah, you guys, you guys bought the thing, and I guess you must have died, because you were definitely, you were definitely alive before. Oh, uh, yes, the winners of the slam off. Do you like remember us? Uh, super yay. You need something? So, like, I'm always with the same guy, and I want to talk to somebody else for a change. And most folks can't, like, uh, see us, so... What are your names? I'm Joshua, and this is Sally. I mean, Neku. Nice meeting you, Neku, J-Dog. I'm Soda. Key one's now. Call me now now for short, K. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> except that's not... <laughs> except that's slightly longer than your original name. <laughs> hey, did you guys know? No missions yesterday or today. But players are still getting wiped out. Wiped out. You should be careful, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki? <laughs> we saw some real scary noise before. We ran like bunnies. You should totally, like, totally run if you see them. This is stay sh I'll stay sharp. Get through this together, huh? Uh, yeah. Hmm, didn't you know? Hey, man, don't. Even if multiple players survive, only so many get to come back to life. What? Dude, well, I'm going to have to kill you now. Um, like, uncool. <laughs> uncool? <laughs> the other players aren't your aren't your friends, they're your competition. That goes for your partners, too. D wow, dude. You're, you're a bigger dick than I am. No way. If, like, two people survive, and only one gets to go pack, what happens to the other one? And they play again, same as Neki here. <laughs> Don't call me that. Well, uh. Well, like, this is your second time? Yeah. Then your partner made it back. No, she didn't. Huh? I don't get it. She was taken as my entry fee. No way, that's like super cruel. I just play again and she... It's my fault, she didn't make it back. No worries, man. Huh? She was your entry fee, yeah? That means you really care about her. No reason to feel guilty for that. Yeah, it's like totally not your fault. <laughs> oh, I like you, you guys. You guys are nice. <laughs> I, lo I love how there's... I love his conversation with Nagi earlier when he got the pen. He was like, Hells yeah! Mmm! Want one of these pins? Hells yeah! Dude, you do this for your granddad, man. Alright? I'd gladly be so does entry fee if it gave him another chance. And I play the game a million times from now. Whatever it takes to get us both back, RG Dog. The RG Dog. You don't think I'm to blame? Get blamed, man. Plus, I don't care if you. If only one of us gets a chance. I still ain't sniping other players. Yeah, like, funny is it so isn't the answer. We all want to be alive again. Nobody deserves it most, right? I want you to win too, Nikki. So, like, this is for you. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, you guys are fucking awesome. I love both of you now. A pin? Yeah, we like won that at the slam off, and now it's yours. Yay! You sure? We couldn't use it. No, that, no, that we're dumping our trash on you, but you know, give it a try. Hey, thanks. We should probably move on, yeah? Be safe, Nikki. Bye, Josh. Josh. <laughs> like, see you later. <laughs> they were charming, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of into that big muscular guy, actually. You think I can get his number? Nobody deserves it most. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, everybody's got their own deal. Their own stupid dreams. None of them outweigh the next. Booze full of all kinds of folks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your non sequiturs. Sorry. How about we check out that phone? Also, it's hero pin. Too bad people... Too bad people can't see the past of this toy. This baby is made of real gold. Scratch it to space to activate the pin sight. Is it powerful? 46. That's pretty good. Is it evolve? 
Nope. There you are, Peggy. I see you. No time to die, Peggy. Oh, it's a new pig. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, oh he's invisible. What the? Oh, not anymore. Now he's just dead. Here's invisible on my... On my, uh... Screen. That's how it's done. First gear. Yeah. yeah. What does that do? Yeah. Touching space and Neku will teleport to that location. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think. Hmm, no microphones here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Douche. Triple Seven said, "Call from Kim from the payphone." Is this the one? This looks like a job for my phone. <laughs> this looks like a job for me. Huh? What, what the tracker? No, the other new feature. What other new feature? The camera. Don't phones, don't most phones already have a camera? <laughs> Watch and learn. So we set the time to yesterday and... Watch and learn what? It's a photo. Hmm. Let's try a different time. Oh. Ah! Ah, the mic! So here it was. So it was right here at this time yesterday. What the heck? How'd your phone... Weren't you listening to Mr. H? He had a couple of new features. One's a tracker, and the other one's his camera. It takes photos of the past. Holy shit. That's pretty wild. That's, that's Mr. Rich's work? Who the hell is he? I am God. <laughs> oh, okay. So could you, tell, could you shift the time layer to see who took it? Let's try. Huh. That's BJ, or BJ, right? He's got a microphone. He's got a megaphone. Huh? And the mic's gone. Very suspicious. Let's take one more just to be... Can't... Huh? Here's the three shot per day limit. What? Why? Or should I know? Ask Mr. H. Suddenly it's a lot less impressive. <laughs> Man, that's just, that's just horse shit, isn't it? Then we'll use mine. Huh? Something wrong? My phone has no camera. Must have gotten forgotten to do yours. God dang it, Anakoma. Hmm. Look who. Oh, god dang it. Oh, we've been, like, looking forever and still nothing. Chill out, Azuki. Slow and steady, girl. Are you kidding? Oh, this is a draft order from Miss Kanishi. Don't you, don't you blow my big chance to suck up to... Oh, you again? You actually look busy today. Very busy, thank you. We certainly have any time to waste on you. Carl, we're leaving. Bye. All right, whatever. Sm see you later. I wonder what they're looking for. Signal's getting weak. Let's try someplace else. Okay. I have no idea what he's Hello. trying to accomplish exactly. Why do they call you BJ? You know why they call me BJ. Ah. Ah, I'm signed. Ah. <clears throat> Ah! God, what the- Oh, damn! Were you headed back to A East? I wanna lose myself in crap a bit. You know? Can't say that I do, actually. <laughs> we just had a few questions for you. Look, what do you want? <laughs> That'd be awesome if one of them was- Why do they call you BJ? <laughs> About the stolen mic- Stolen? Please, Triple Seven's full of it. I'm sure he just left it someplace- Left someplace. Either he should've been watching us- uh, Either that he should've been watching us stuff. I hear you wanted that mic for yourself. So what if I did? Doesn't matter now. I don't need it anyway. Where were you yesterday at 2 o'clock? Oh, I, I was, um, I, e, ooh, I, you know, uh, Dong, Dong and yeah. In line for the new round place. Why would I go to the phone, phone booth for my, my coat? I don't even know what's there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, you guys really suck at lying. You guys really suck at your job. What, what? Just give me some space, would you? I want some time alone. Of course, but first, take a look at this photo. <laughs> what? How did? That's the phone booth near Malco, aka the phone booth of love, right? Yeah. Isn't that some kind? Isn't there some kind of urban legend? They say that you if you use this phone to confess your love. The other person will love you back. Oh, um, really? I don't know who you called, but you were there yesterday. That much is a fact. But I, you went, you weren't in Dogenzaka. You were chatting up with some, some tram near Malco. She's not a tram. Shut up. You take that back. Damn, Josh. Remember not to tick you off. <laughs> wow. 
Well, at least not just an asshole to me. You can't tell anyone about this. Okay, so I was there yesterday. I made a call. You have it now? Kawhi, you've been very helpful. Thanks. Oh, I'm heading back. I'm heading back to see Trooper 7. Hopefully, hopefully he's found the stupid bot by now. Seriously, you tell us. Tell us so you dead. I'll fuck you up. Okay. I don't think we're getting anything else out of him. Let's move on. Okay. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's him. Uh, feeling, feeling pinned? Break down those boundaries. Red Skull. Oh. Oh, it's the commercial. It's that commercial. Oh, look, it's, look, it's playing. Oh. Oh, it's playing. I thought, I thought that was gonna end up being, uh, Nagi. Oh, the captain is fat. Can't find it in anywhere. It's really ta You can't find it anywhere except for on everybody now. It's really taken off. Even folks who, who, see, who seem like they wouldn't be into the cat have them on. But they don't appreciate it at all. I like the guy handing them out in that ramen place. Looks like everybody has a, a red skull fever. She and I were pretty thorough. Looks like an awful lot like the player pin, hmm. So who makes the player pins anyway? The Reapers? Nope. That's Composer's territory. Who's responsible for creating and controlling them? Composer? The guy in charge of Shibuya? Correct. We're in the, sh the Composer's game. Have we even met the Composer yet? I don't think we have. Or is that the, the guy I gave the ace voice to? The Mr. Katanashi? The Reapers are just his enforcers. They execute design. I guess it must be Mr. Katanashi then, right? Some designer. His game, his game really sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> can, can he and his Reapers go to the RG? RG, UG, it's all the same in Shibuya. Just people in the RG can't see us here. We're like Air Neku, invisible but very real. Players are only visible in shops with special decals, but Reapers can materialize at will. They're perfectly visible in the RG, minus the wings, of course. So they have wings here, but not in the RG. Apparently, Reaper's wings house its power. So they're basically just normal people in the RG. Huh. So the only player pins, the player pin only exists in the UG. The composer makes them, and now the red skull pin, with a very similar design. But now those exist in the real world. Hmm, oh, I see. This is gonna this is this is gonna end up playing into the composer's evil plan to what like take over the take over the world or something, right? No, it's freaking identical. Coincidence? Not likely. So what? Are they just are they both just no. Maybe by the same person. Maybe by the same person? Then that would make the composer he be cat a cat. No wait, not cat. I love cat! Is something wrong, Neku? No, I'm fine. Oh my god, dude, it's, it's P and Poop Guy, my favorite character in the whole wide world. Mmm, ugh, it's been three days, and I still haven't pee or pooped. I just gotta, ugh, one day I'm gonna figure out what exactly I wanna do here. I just keep piling more food on top of it, too. Oh, it's a bad idea. But, I really gotta make this right decision right. Dude, just go, man, just go. <laughs> just got like, I've got a poo, baby. I gotta let loose. Never dream that these pins are getting so big. I'm good at this stuff. But him? He didn't do anything. So that's the guy? The one who gave the, that promoter guy the pin job? Oh, I see, okay. Uh, oh my god, pee and poop guy is the head of that operation? No fucking way. I didn't realize he was so, he was so fucking powerful. Not that either one of them did any, work, any of the work. And Dragger's responding here, but I don't think it's what we're looking for. I don't understand what are you talking about? Is that what I'm seeing on this map here? Uh, no, oh, there's, I guess that is it. It's like, I'm like checking at these signals and then, yeah, some, something happens. I don't fucking understand. Well, we haven't done by now. It's probably not turning up. I'll go report to the, to the Poe. Not so fast. Huh? I think I've identified your thief. You serious? Wait, what? <laughs> of course, let's recap. Hmm. The, the a theft occurred yesterday at 2 o'clock. Triple Seven received a strange phone call. What phone call? Me, meet me in my Kadoi City. We need to talk. The microphone was stolen while he was away. According to the Triple Seven's caller ID, the call originated a public phone. Care knew who placed it. We have conclusive proof. What? You got 
guy's not gonna. In this photo shows. Neck you. What, I'm telling them? <laughs> uh, this photo tells it all. <laughs> Wait, BJ? I told you not to say anything. So it was you called me. Whoa there. When did you get that call? Precisely, that is. Um, let, let me check. 140. Take a closer look at the photo. See, it was taken at 2.02 p.m. BJ used that phone. That much is a fact. But he wasn't calling you. No, he was calling a lady friend. Hmm. Just whisper sweet nothings in her. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, I admit. I told, told a chick I like her. And she completely blew me off. You happy now? Go ahead, laugh. Laugh at me. <laughs> I just want to be loved, man. I know I'm a reaper. Or I'm just some random NPC with a scarf on his face that looks like every other NPC, but. <laughs> Doesn't mean I got my feelings, man. <laughs> <laughs> deep, deep breath, beige. Don't call me that. That isn't the point of the photo. Look at what, what's in BJ's left hand. Yeah, I was wondering, what, what is that? Is that a cell phone? It certainly looks like it, but not BJ's. I don't get it. Look at this photo. Would you do the honors, Neku? The one with the mic? What about it? Oh, there's the, yeah, there's a phone there. Ignore the microphone. Look at the top of this, the telephone. It's a cell phone. Oh, I see. Greg, it was there when BJ arrived. He took an, he saw it and took it. Now, why would he do that? Does it belong to? Oh, wait a minute. You knew the owner, so you picked it up and returned it. To the red guy. Oh, damn it. Is he phone, bro? Oh, snap. Fine line ran. Thanks, man. I was, I was looking out trying to find it. Where was it? Uh, in the, I mean, uh, in Spain hit. Nah, nah. Did he actually leave it behind? Tenno, but, but, but you said he found the, the cell on, on Spain. Oh, oh. BJ didn't want anyone finding out he got blown off, so he lied about where he found it. Well, I'd make, I'd say this makes for an airtight case. Ten Tenno left his cell phone in the, the phone booth. The question is why? I'm oh, sorry, guys. It was all me. Why? What? Why, man? I thought it'd stop you two fighting. I don't want us to break break up. So I so I just. Sorry, bro. We through a lot, huh? Yeah, my bad, Tenno. I was out of line when I was about doing about wanting to do vocals. That's all over now, right? We got we good again. Hey, I'm cool. Good. Let's get that. Let's have that mic, Tino. It uh, kind of got stolen. What? <laughs> I called Dribble Seven from the phone booth. Once he left, I grabbed the mic. I was on my way to go hide it. Dribble Seven, I saw you coming back. I freaked and I hid in the phone booth. I was just gonna wait it out. And you called me. The mic's been stolen. Come meet me at Moco. So I stashed the so I stashed the, the mic in the phone booth. Must have left my, my phone there too. I checked in with you, but when I went back, the mic was gone. Oops. Gone. Yeah. This was in there in its place. Oh, show took it. That's why that that was in there. A megaphone. Was the freaky stuff recorded? Sign. Huh. What? Go sign. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to stay together. And because of me. That megaphone could only belong to one person. Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant Weirdo. Sergeant Kameda. <laughs> Fascinating. It seems that this mystery runs deeper. Care to enlighten them, Neku? Tell them who really took their mic. No brainer. The guy who took the mic is... Tenno, BJ, Triple Seven, none of the above! None of these guys. 1.40 p.m. Maybe by Kadoi City, we need, we need to talk. 
Oh, uh, uh, hey, who are you? Now's my chance. 50 p.m. Oh crap, triple seven. God, gotta hide. Ooh. Oh, my phone? Hello, it's me, triple. Uh, it's me, triple seven. We're bone. The mic's even gank, bro. Hurry on back to Malco. Uh, be right back. Be right back, Mike. Stay put. Where's I holding that? Where's I stashing that anyway? 7 p.m. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, no way, dude. Oh, why, hello. This mic is Zeta sexy. Apparently, you guys told me Zeta apparently means like, is like the sex, is a slang term for sextillion, which is like 10 to the 21 power. It's a fucking massive number. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said it was his. It was, I was sort of surprised. A number, quite a few of you said it's just his way of saying fucking. <laughs> like not just one of you, like, like a whole bunch of you said that. I was like, <laughs> really? I just thought it was like it's a extreme way of saying something, but not necessarily mean fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go set of that girl. Yeah. Who's my is this sexy? Prefer my opus. <laughs> I <laughs> pulls out his mic. Make a <laughs> Hello there, Mike. Here, we'll call it a trade. <laughs> I call. I'm calling you out, microphone. Ha, <laughs> sweet. This is my best. This is gonna be the best day ever. Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm a tailor. Huh? I'm gonna. Huh? That's ten of six. I'm an airhead. I oh, will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Phone boost love my ass. Man, she love me, man. You're just a weird faceless NPC. I don't give a shit about you. I'm looking for more name characters. Man, screw this. Ah, ah. 2 10 p.m. Huh? Now to pick up the. God, it's gone. The hell is this megaphone? Fuck. Restore it. Now where's our mic? Hmm. Knowing him? Isn't that junk heap over there? What? Our oh, baby's in that pile of trash. Start digging, boys. It's been there the whole damn time. We haven't decided to do anything. Sorry to drag you guys into this. I clear the wall. Go on, we'll manage from here. Best of luck. Now then, should we hit a Udagawa Neku? That was the detour from hell. That was the fetch quest of all fucking fetch quests. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna hear for now. Um, <laughs> this game's interesting. Uh, I wish I don't know. Sometimes it like. I feel like navigating the city can be kind of annoying, and I don't know, some of these quests are kind of like, I don't know, just really fetch questy. <laughs> it's just like, grab the thing, talk to this guy, and then, I don't know, like, I didn't, like, figure anything out. The game just kind of did it for me, so it wasn't like, I don't know. It was more like, go to this cutscene, I go to this other cutscene, shit like that. I mean, it was interesting, but I would have liked a little more uh, player input as well, but, um, anyway, like for if you enjoy it, subscribe now, become a picky big one aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.